Hello, I'm Steve, 84XT. Welcome to Ham Radio Portable. Well, today, let's take a look at some ham sticks. And even better, a better way to tune them. Stick with me. Well, what is a ham stick? Well, basically, it's a fiberglass rod with, a, with threads on one end of it. And you can see the coil going all the way to there. Four foot of it is the fiberglass rod and then your other part, of, other half of the antenna element, which is just a whip, connects to there. And predominantly they are used as a mobile antenna, but let's look at a couple of other methods to use them portable. One way to use them portable is to take you a rod like this piece of rebar, drive it down to about four inches and they make what you call a trucker's mount, mirror mount that you can place on the bottom. I've seen a jaw type clamp that will clamp on here. I'll put some images up of both of those and mount that there and screw your ham stick right down on top of that. You've got you a, a vertical antenna run you uh, some radials out since it is a ground mounted vertical. I recommend about 16 and it makes a good little vertical antenna. Another way I've seen these used is if you've got two of them in the same band of course, make it into a dipole. They make a center connector and I'll find an image of that where you screw two of your ham sticks in and it's much like like the buddy pole, you'll screw two ham sticks in which will turn it into a dipole. Screw it onto something like this. This is a uh, painter's pole. I've used this several times for different antennas and uh, extend it up and attach it to something and you've got you what you call a rotatable dipole. Most of the time what everybody's doing with these ham sticks just putting it on some type of mag mount like this. Hop it up on the roof and good to go. Run your coax inside and start a parks on the air activation. Okay, this is where the tuning is on a ham stick. And when you buy them, you get an Allen wrench, but I've bought two of them. As you can see, I can't even I can't even find the ones that came with mine. I had to, to break out the uh, Allen wrenches out of the toolbox and find one to, to adjust in these things. But it's a sm very small Allen head and your element will slide in and out. You know, nothing, nothing tricky about that. Just straightforward, lock it down. And that's how you tune it. But, you know, out in the field, on top of the roof of a car or something, you're gonna you're gonna lose one of these. You're gonna you drop it. It's gone forever. Another option is find you a metric screw the size of that. But I don't even like that. One thing I have run into tuning these ham sticks, and, and it probably aggravates other people too, is you're adjusting it up and down depending on where your SWR is. Okay, while you're adjusting it up and down, you've got a length of this that is inside the antenna uh, and, it's, and it's affecting the tuning of it. You would probably need to cut it off to bring the SWR down some. And that's what really aggravates a lot of people and a lot of these am, ham sticks end up in the, uh, in the closet somewhere and not being used. So, better idea, and this is no new idea, I found that the threads on this a 3 8 by 24 and I've got a telescopic whip here that I've used uh, I don't know what other project it might have been something to do with a, a, a homemade buddy pole that I built and it screws perfectly onto here and it's 44 inches long so you know you can you can tune multiple ham sticks with the same 
telescopic antenna. So say you've got four or five of these ham sticks, you only need to take one telescopic whip. And let me show you the little trick that I use. What I use is a single magnet uh, mount for these ham sticks because I don't drive with them. If you're going to drive with a ham stick on your vehicle, I recommend the three magnet type mounting. It's, it uses three of these and probably gives you a little bit better coupling to the surface of your roof. But uh, I don't drive, so I'm not worried too much about that. But you see my little cheat sheet here, or, or cheat tape. When I'm using it for the 20 meter band, I'm going to take that stick and put it at a certain spot. Let me show you. I've got my 20 meter stick here and my telescopic whip when I get ready to deploy it. Just start from the top and pull it completely up every section till you're fully extended. Okay, uh, according to my little cheat sheet and let's see if I can get that into better view. I've got a little blue marking here and for my 20 meter stick, I just lower it down to that blue marking right there. And how I did that was I tuned these things uh, got them completely as good as they could be and then I took a sharpie like this fine tooth blue one here and just drawed me a, a little line right there at that spot all the way around it and I know when I get out in the field with my 20 meter stick that little marking right there will be the spot. And if I'm a little low or a little high in the van, all I've got to do is come out and pull that up in the air, just a little, just a little smidge. It, it, it really beats breaking out the Allen wrench and uh, dealing with Allen screws. When I go to my 40 meter ham stick, my little cheat sheet directions here, it says it's tuned for 7.250 and when you go on these lower bands with a ham stick it's a very sharp dip so it's gonna you gotta be really close to that frequency my SWR at that time was 1.89 the lower section is gonna go inside and I'm gonna go inside on the second section about 1 and 7 8 so let me see what that looks like on the telescopic whip with the 40 meter stick, I'll pull out the telescopic whip completely. Uh, lower the first section in, as my little cheat sheet direction said, all the way in. And now the next section is going to be lowered in. To this marking right here and this marking is in red it's a little bit red and blue but we marked it in red so i'll lower that one in and so that right there should put me right on top of 7250 and if i need to go up or down from 7250 well that can come out and either pull it out a little bit or go down a little bit either way that is much better than pulling out an allen wrench and adjusting. Well there you have it. My little tip on an easier way to tune these ham sticks uh, and get rid of that Allen wrench. That is such a pain. So hey if you've uh, if you've got some ideas on these ham sticks something I may have not have mentioned uh, put them down in the comments. I'm sure some people would like to hear some different things. These are really popular especially at the top of the solar cycle. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of them on these parks on the air activations. And I always carry one with me. I may not use it, but it's kind of like my go-to backup antenna. And there's been a couple times when I was in a situation and had to use it. So uh, there you go. Well, if you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll catch you again on the next time. I'm Steve for Ham Radio Portable 73.